I would say she's the most promising star of her time, and she'll go on to do great things. You heard it here first, folks. That is critic Teller Guthrie with his review of Pops in Autumn, starring the up-and-coming Evelyn Mallory. But all I ever wanted was for you to see me. But all I ever wanted was for you to see me. Angie, please don't tell me you have another script. Relax, nothing new. With all the nominations, my job as your agent is dried up. Well, I'll at least let you steer me into the right role next, if that's all right with you. You're still on the payroll, of course. I might even give you a Christmas bonus. Too bad for me Christmas just passed, huh? <laughs> Anyways, Evelyn Mallory called asking for you today. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Are you serious? Why is a dried up old celeb like her asking around for moi? For her supposed agent, she'd like to meet you. I did you a favor and scheduled dinner with her. So, how's the fame? Still pretty good. Although the fans I can do without. I wouldn't want them in a million years. <sighs> Props to you. Have you read any of the new scripts? Nope. Nothing good? I don't know yet. I took, I kind of took a hiatus. I'm thinking about spending some of my hard-earned cash. I don't blame you, but do you have any new projects going on? I don't know, Iris. Honestly, I'd rather shoot myself in the foot right now than read another fucking script. Wow. Okay. Just like Evelyn Mallory? She shot herself in the foot? No. You know what I mean. Have you seen the movie? Yeah, I'm in it. No, I mean the actual movie. What do you mean the actual movie? You know, the one that your movie is a remake of a remake of a book about a play about the same fucking thing? No, I, I haven't seen it in a while. I wanted to reinvent the character, you know, take it to an original place. I didn't want something as old and outdated as that reflecting on my on-screen choices. Method acting, I dig that. I thought Mallory was your idol though. She was, yeah. Now she's just another lesson in the acting book. That is a bold move, Odessa Rain. Please welcome to the stage last year's Best Actor, two-time Academy Award winner, and four-time nominee, Elias Ross. <sighs> Good evening. The five extraordinary artists nominated for Best Actress tonight perform with complexity and depth. They brought to life an avid explorer who finds herself on the River Ganges a young widow who braves the Siberian wild with her infant son, a struggling princess who protects her fallen from Grey's kingdom, a crime boss who foils the dangerous ambitions of a war-torn city, and a budding filmmaker who is torn between two countries and two separate careers. These are the nominees for the best actress in a leading role. Gina Asin, A Short Venture on the River Ganges, Catherine Olfen, The Wagon, Lauren Jensen, Fairy Tale. Anna Marie Roman, Detroit, The City. Odessa Rain, Palms in Autumn. And the winner is Odessa Rain, Palms in Autumn. It's nice to finally meet you, Miss Mallory. Mm. Please sit. Mm. Oh, congratulations on your win. I heard about it on all the news stations. I can't stop talking about you. Thank you. It's just an honor that the Academy just- How dare you sit there with that smug look on your face? E excuse me? That was my part. I mean, I don't assume that I should have gotten that award, but I at least would like to think that I played it the best. Did I do something to offend you? You all offend me. That's all your business is good for these days. It's, it's your business too. I took an opportunity that I thought would be an honor to take on the role of Jane. <laughs> an honor. 
to repeat Jane. <laughs> That's all your gold and your bronze and your silver statues are good for. Repetition. Repetition is just a result in trying to understand the character. But don't worry, Evelyn. I didn't take any pointers from you. I never tried understanding people. People aren't worth understanding. When I accepted your invite, I didn't expect the mean-spirited, decrepit shell of a woman I once watched on screen. <laughs> Is that all I am to you? Just good girl gone bad. Let me tell you something. I was always bad. I just made it good. <sighs> oh, no, you'll see whenever you get to my age. You'll see. <laughs> when you watch some younger girl redo Jane again. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps it won't be such a weak year for women's roles either when they decide to redo it for a third time. You'll see. What I see is a woman who never amounted to anything. And the next 10 women to play Jane won't have a fucking ounce of character on the woman I created. You don't even realize that I'm the girl who chewed you up and spit you out. Look at her. Young, beautiful, holding every award. They're watching me. They love me. And your Jane, your Jane is dead and buried. You're just like me. I don't have nothing nice to say to a copy and a cheat. Why don't you just tell me this? Why go out of your pathetic way to tell me something that's meant for the rest of this town? All I ever wanted was for you to see me. Hello, this is Selena Paz. Ciao, Selena. This is Ida Mazur. Hi, Miss Mazur. Oh, call me Ida, please. I won't take up too much of your time, dear. I wanted to personally call you and let you know that we finished auditioning for Palms in Autumn. Congratulations, Selena. We'd like you to take on the role of Jane. <sighs> Selena? You there? Yes, yes, I'm still here. Thank you, thank you so much. I have faith in you, Selena. We're excited to work with you. We'll have our people call about scheduling soon, all right? You take care now. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I'm excited to work with you too. Thank you. A sad story coming in from the world of movies today. Odessa Rain found dead in her home early this morning. Police at the scene report that the cause of death was suicide due to an overdose of prescription drugs. The actress, best known for starring as Jane in the remake of Palms in Autumn and becoming the youngest winner of the Academy Award for Best Leading Actress, had a rocky career after her milestone win 13 years ago. She was just 37 years old. There was a soft rain in the morning and I dressed my best. The world would have admired every inch of me. But all I ever wanted was for you to see me.